Mistakes were made, so why not agree to have the people who are most in the know testify under oath about exactly what happened? Okay, a couple of things. Actually, the people who know the most will testify under oath, but before we do that, I just want to step aside and say our thoughts and prayers are with John and Elizabeth Edwards because there are a lot of people around the country who have been through the experience not only of cancer, but cancer follow-up. So I, I'd, I'd like to lay down that because, trust me, I know. I'm sure um, that they appreciate that this morning, absolutely, and we will uh, we will agree with you on that one. But let's get back okay, to what we're going to talk go back about. Okay, now I'll go back to your question, which is why not testify under oath? Yeah. Fact is, the people who did make the decision will testify under oath. Okay, why every not Carl Rove and Harry well, Myers? Well, me, why not the people who they want to subpoena? Why not have them testify under oath? Why not on because, the record? Very, very simple. Well, they are on the record, but but they're not going to be under oath. And first, let me lay out what's going on because it, it allows you to put my answer in context, and then we can we could dive into the the other issues. This is a decision made at the Justice Department after a deliberation. You're going to have access to everybody involved in that deliberative process and every communication generated in that process, including communications. We've already made available communications between the White House and the Justice Department. So when you ask, are the key people going to be under oath? Yes. Now, there is another principle, which is Congress doesn't have legislative, I mean, oversight authority over the White House. That's that the Constitution says that. But what we've done is we've made a very generous and extraordinary offer by saying, OK, but you know what, you need to have at your disposal every single available fact. So we're going to make it available. We'll make available any communication from the White House to the Justice Department to outsiders, to members of Congress. Yeah, and, it's and, so and that you if, you, if you have a question. That it's very, very generous. I understand. Here's my question. You're, you're yeah. drawing the line at having a transcript. Yeah. People hear that and they say, why wouldn't you want a transcript of a that's conversation? A, a, why not? It, it's a great question. Thank you. And the, the answer is that a president relies upon candid advice from his, his top aides. What you don't want is a situation where you create this kind of Perry Mason or a law and order atmosphere where people are grilling aides. Here's, you know, so that people would have a How does a, a transcript do if, that? How, isn't a transcript because, just the record of the what conversation it does, it, it, that the American people can say, well, that was what was actually said? Well, because first, do, do the American people want the, the, the sort of pseudo courtroom drama or do they want the truth? I think the do they truth. Want the truth. Okay, well, that's, that's an important consideration because we're making available all the facts. What we're not going to do is to create a shelter. Look, I got the Financial Times here. Big old picture of Karl Rove. I mean, this, one of the subtexts here is all these people are talking, get Karl Rove. Well, you know what? Wait a minute. What the White House does is we're going to make available every fact and every individual. And you probably know, a lot of people don't, though, is if they go up and talk to Congress, they're going to have to tell the truth. And if they don't, they go to jail. Right, That's but against that is, the law. But so, that assumes, so what we're trying to do, what we're trying but, to do. But, but, but let me stop you there at that, that okay. point right there. You're saying, well, they have yeah. to tell the truth, so why bother to, to take an oath to tell the truth? I mean, that's... That's actually counterintuitive. I mean, shouldn't you just, if, you, if it doesn't matter, you've got to tell the truth anyway, then why not take an oath to tell well, the truth? Why because, not have a transcript that lays out for everybody, uh, the Congress people and, and the American people, what exactly transpired? I, I guess that for a lot of people, it's that line in the sand that seems a little bit like a strange one. Well, it, it seems like a strange one unless you've actually worked in the White House or you've worked, if members of the Senate would get it. If somebody said to Chuck Schumer, you know what, we're going to go in and we're going to have a transcript and we're going to ask you, what considerations led your office to put up an ad to go after Pete Domenici with regard to this issue? Did any outside fundraisers contact you? Did any outside political advisors? And I hear you. Talk I, I, I well, get you're trying well, to do but, an analogy, but, 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 but we're getting a little far afield. Let me ask you a question. Well, you no, have well, 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 this. Please, Soledad, but I, I, I do need to answer the question, which is it, it goes to the nature of advice that you give a president. If presidential aides think that they're going to get hauled up and you have transcripts and people able, able to sort of generate false drama off that, it is going to have but a chilling effect. And it would have a chilling effect drama? on the Senate staff it, and on the White House. Why do you call because, it false drama? Because here, let me finish my question. Yeah. You, you call it false drama as if somehow people will waive the actual words that some elected official or non-elected official said, and, and that'll be you know somehow unfair. You, you paint it as if it's somehow, that it's it's part Partisan, and it's not only I, partisan. Let me let me just. Oh, you've got to be kidding it's me! It's not only partisan. Uh, John Cornyn, Republican yeah. from Texas, says this. I'm a little bit dubious about an interview behind closed doors. Yeah. If there's going to be information provided, it best be provided in public. He's a Republican from Texas, and then well, you have look. Senator Arlen Specter who said this. I think I got this on tape. Let's listen to it. It would be very helpful to have a transcript. My own preference would be to have it open so that people see what uh, what is going on people see what's what's going on right. 
I understand that. And let me, again, ask you the very simple question. Is there any fact that would be denied to members of Congress? The answer is no. They're going to have the facts. If, if Ergo, what they want to do is to get why not do it truth. on the record? Then that, you know, because that brings me back to the original question, which is if there's nothing going to be denied, put it on the record, do it under oath, everybody it, it tells is, the truth, wait, everybody knows what happened. It is on the record. What we're trying to avoid is showmanship. We're trying to avoid a show trial. What we're trying to avoid is the notion that somehow th what this needs to be is a factual interview, not something where people are going to be just sort of, I'm going to go after Karl Rove, and you know it's going to happen, Soledad, you know it's going to okay, happen. Then do it in so rather than doing that, the real, question is, oh, let me, let the real me. question is, the real question is, do you want the truth? Because if you want the truth, we're making it available. If you want extra drama, well, we're not. We you know, think I could that ask that same question. Do you want the truth? Maybe the answer would be then get it on a transcript. I got to tell you, I got three people yelling in my ear. We're out of time. We got to go. I bet half of them are your people. Tony Snow, the White House press secretary. Always nice to talk to you. Thanks for being with us. Sorry they're yelling at you, Soledad. <laughs> That's the way it is. <laughs> Thanks. Miles? Fallout this morning after a brutal.